Hey everybody, it's Angela, and we are going to go through a demonstration of how to install Arc GIS Pro. Now, you might have already installed previous um, Esri GIS software like QGIS, which is obviously not Esri, or other other Esri, Esri software like um, uh, Arc Mac uh, Desktop or um, ArcMap or RP Online or something like that. Now what we're doing is something different. We're going to be installing ArcGIS Pro. And in order to do that, we need a whole new set of systems. So if I've already given you a pre previously an activation code last semester or previous semester, please don't use it for ArcGIS Pro, because as I've said, we need a completely new process for installing ArcGIS Pro. And what I've already gone and done is I've sent you in two emails. Those two emails include the directions for installing ArcGIS Pro, and it also gives you a username and a password to use for this process as well. So if you already had a username and a password that you used last semester or in previous semesters, you're going to be making a whole new one. Why is that? The reason why that is, is in order to use ArcGIS Pro, you can't have a public account. You need to have an account that is linked with an organization like an electric company or Let's say, for example, New Seasons, they they all used um, Esri. Well, for our purposes, our organization is Clackamas Community College. So your new account that you're going to be creating this semester is going to be linked with Esri's organization page, Clackamas Community College GIS and technology. Why do we do that? So ArcGIS Pro is a platform where you can share maps, you can share data, you can share, uh, it's a place for you to store maps as well. So some of the biggest issues in using GIS are where we get our data, right? Because we we're, we've got data coming out of our ears. Where do we get it? Well, in our, you're going to realize that in Arc GIS Pro, we're going to be able to pull from data that's online. Another issue that people have, or we have had in the past, using GIS is storage. Where are we going to store? How do we share these maps? And so once you link up your ArcGIS Pro account with an organization account, we can share maps. And so after this, you will also be getting an invitation to our to the specific class that you're in, whether it is GIS 201, 202, 205, or subsequent classes. That way, as a team on our Esri organization site for Clackamas Community College, we can share our maps, we can share information, we can share data, and it's a nice place for you to store your things as your maps as well. So without further ado, I have sent you this link that you're looking at right now. Now this link is the Esri ArcGIS desktop student trial link. And those are the activation codes that I've sent you. Now, what you're going to be doing here is now clicking on, I have an Esri account. Because remember, I sent you an email with a new username and a password. So the username and the password that I sent you at the first day of our semester is what you're going to be using. For some of you, I gave you a username. For some of you, it was your last name and then a dot and then your first name, very similar to your Clackamas email. So for example, um, my username would be armin.angela. Um, there were a few of you that I made up usernames for you, but if that was the case, I sent them to you. And your initial password to get in is going to be the same for everybody. It's going to be Clackamas with a capital C, 2022 exclamation point. Now, what happens is it's going, once you log on, it's going to prompt you to change your password because it realizes that I've given everyone the same password. 
So let's go ahead and walk through this process. I have an Esri account. I am going to use the login, inf login information that was given to me by my instructor. And my login information is go Cougars. And my password is the same as yours. Kalaka Miss 2022 exclamation point. I'm going to sign in. And then it's going to prompt me and as it's going to prompt you to go ahead and change your whole password because it realizes that I've given everyone a standard standard issue. So the old password is clack mess 2022. The new password is I'm going to use. Change password. Okay. And it's going to ask you for security question. I was born in Anaheim. Okay. All right. The next thing it's going to do, it's going to ask you for an activation code. And a second email, I sent you your individual Clackamas code to you and you only. So this is when you go ahead and you put in that code and you say activate ArcGIS. And what you're going to do is you're going to install ArcGIS Pro 2.4. Okay. Now, for some of you, if you have older computers, you might need to install this Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5. For many of you, you're not going to need to. Um, now, if you're wondering to yourself, do I need this or do I not need this? Uh, for example, when I try to download this on my computer, it says you don't need this. Your computer already has what it needs. So um, you might try downloading it. And if your computer says mm, you don't need this, then you're good to go. And how do you download it? You just click on this link right here. All right. And obviously it gives you this amazing menu of options. Now, what am I going to download? Ooh, it's a lot going on. Now, if you've already done this previously, you probably downloaded um, ArcGIS Desktop ArcMap. Well, now we're going to be downloading ArcGIS Pro. So you click download and it takes you through a series of steps. Also, I'll just take these um, next few minutes to let you know that if you encounter any hurdles, big, small, or otherwise, I've left my phone number and my email on our front page. And I do that because I really want you to use it. I encourage you to use it. That's why I'm here. I understand that you're learning GIS on your own and by yourself, but even though it might feel like that, please always know that I am literally a phone call, a phone call away. You can get a hold of me very easily. I like um, talking with my students via text. We many times send instructional videos back and forth. If we're not able to, if both of us aren't able to access a computer and meet on um, Zoom, um, working through videos and sending texts to one another, I have found very, very helpful phone calls, texts, um, believe me, I'm, I'm open to any and all of it for sure. And I mean it. All right. It looks like we are almost there.
and it's going to ask you where you want your destination folder. If you don't want it in your documents, that's fine. You definitely want it in your C drive. And what it's telling me is you already have this file on your computer. Don't worry, it won't give you that prompt. Okay, so then it launches. And it's saying you already have this on your computer. Why are you downloading it again? Like, yes, I know. Ugh. Okay, install. Now it is going to install on your computer. Okay, we'll go ahead and run it. Can also find it here. So you go ahead and click on ArcGIS Pro. And usually, I'm going to do that again. Oh, there's already an update available. Okay, I'm going to do that again because I want to show you what you're going to need to do. Once you click on the icon, what it's going to ask you to do is log back in again. Remember that you've already changed your password from initially logging into the system. You've got the same username, right? So mine was go cougars. And now you don't know my password because I've changed it. Um, just like you've already changed yours. So you're now you're going to be using that same username that I gave you, except now you've updated and changed the password. And now you're going to log into Arc GIS Pro. And once you have logged on, you will see this main page here, and it will let you know that the organization your ArcGIS Pro is account is linked with is Clackamas Community College. You cannot use ArcGIS Pro without having your, your account linked with an organization. So this is what is telling you here what organization your ArcGIS Pro is linked up with. So I hope this went well for you. If it doesn't, hey, I'm here. Text me, call me, email me, and I'd be happy to sit and go over this process with you over phone, over Zoom. Just let me know how I can help. I look forward to seeing you. Bye.